Hello and welcome to Practically. Thank you for joining. In this short little video, we're going to have a quick look at Reveal, which is a REPL with a nice attached data browser. In the closure.deps Eden file, I've set up an alias for Reveal. So I could just run it on the command line. I'm including test for some extra libraries. It's very quick to start up, and obviously the first time it might download a few dependencies. But now we have the REPL on one side and the data browser on the other. And I can type in simple commands into the closure REPL and it's displaying them in the data browser on the right hand side. And also click on them and press uh, space. And it brings up a little menu. I can go in and have different views which will open up underneath. Uh, you can do a view of a pie chart. That's quite cool. And if I try one of the other ones, let's look at a table. Here you can see it's got a table. That's more useful for maps. Let's have a look at using a map. So here is a zip map function that's just going to generate a map by combining two vectors together. And we can see that it's in the browser, it's showing us the expression we've run and the results. And if we click on the curly bracket for the uh, map and press space, then we can go in and view that as a table. And we can see that it's much easier to navigate that information as well. You can see that the information in the table is highlighted, so we can also navigate each of those pieces of uh, data as well. So if we press space, uh, we can go in and view the value, which is going to be name, because uh, it's a name keyword. Uh, if we go back one, uh, we go and look at the Java Bean. It tells us about the type of that value. So you can see it's a closure line keyword. So it's a very easy way to explore data quite simply. Let's look at a bigger example. I started the reveal REPL in a project. So I'm going to require the specification library from that project. And you can see that's also showing up inside the uh, data browser. And then from convenience, I'm just going to uh, change into the namespace. And that's also reflected in the data browser. This namespace contains a number of specifications. So I'm just going to generate one and see the results in the data browser. It's quite verbose data, but we can see that it's printed out a list of maps in here as well. I can go in and expect either individual maps or if I select the list itself and press space, I can go in and view that uh, as a table. And now this gives me a much nicer way to view that data. Uh, one of the values is also a hash map, so I can go in and select that and press space and go and view that as a table as well. I can see that it's got the key and the values in there. So it's quite easy to go around and explore and go in and click these tabs and explore different aspects of the data. As well as running reveal as a REPL, I can also use it from other REPLs. And in this case, I'm going to run rebel read line with uh, reveal. Rather than use the reveal REPL, I'm going to use rebel read line with a tap. So I'm going to use the add tap command to add the reveal uh, UI. And this launches the data browser as it did with uh, reveal and the REPL. Now, whenever I use a tap command, it will appear in the data browser. So I can send in a tap command and it will send that data to the browser. And I can go in and explore it just as usual. We should be viewing a table again. So we can use tap instead of using print line statements. We could also set up debugging and rather than send that to the standard out, we could use tap to send it out also to our data browser. I've added a quick setup to the closure tools, data browsers reveal, showing you how to set that up in your uh, closure.deps.eden. It's also in my uh, closure.deps.eden repository of all aliases, so you can use that straight away. And there's also some ideas about how to use uh, uh, Reveal and a data browser. I hope you found that brief introduction very useful. 
it's a new project and lots of new features are going to be added to that as well. I can see a very bright future for Reveal in the future. Thank you. Bye-bye.